tell me what is missing from that cover. Uh, Alan, Deborah, and Frank, you're up first. Here is your album. It is Christmas with whom? So, so it's, it's a person. It's not. It couldn't just be Christmas with Exma. <laughs> <laughs> Or along those lines, Christmas with the Witness Protection Program. <laughs> and there's a little clue. You can see a little bit of the hand there. Yeah. Yes, it's yep. dark. Could be Christmas with Colin Powell. Powell. Christmas with Colin Powell. Can you imagine that? Yeah, we know where Christmas is hidden. Well, actually, we don't. I'll give you a clue. Okay. Uh, it's a large bucket-shaped present. Oh, what, yeah. a, what are bucket shaped other than buckets? Yeah. Like a knight's helmet that's turned upside down. Ned Kelly. Christmas Ned, with Christmas Ned Kelly. Christmas with Ned Kelly. Yeah. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh. Oh. Christmas oh. with Colonel oh. Sanders. Oh. Oh. I think we should get half a point because you misled us with your clue because you said yeah. a bucket shaped item. Mm. What you should have said was, and that thing's a Colonel Sanders ship. <laughs> <laughs> Right, <laughs> Miff, Dame Medna and Ross, uh, here is your first album cover. It's A Blank Christmas for the Family. Chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> is it, well, uh... the little boy looks like he's got, some, he's got his mouth open going... <gasps> I can hardly see it. Yes, I wish I had lenses in these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> your clue is to have a look at the way the children are dressed. They're ah. dressed in red. A communist oh. Christmas thing. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're sort of the 50s or 60s, oh. don't they? What would, what would have been a popular gift in the 60s? In the 60s? How would I know, darling? Oh, of course. No, I would have thought a drug of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> is it Hammond Northern? Yeah, it's well, Hammond. Oh, no, have a knitted Christmas. Have a, it's a, one of those... Have a macrame uh, Christmas. One of those wrong cord knitting oh, devices. Knitting machine. Have a wrong Christmas. We'll go with that. Wrong That's the best ever. No, no, knitting. Knitted, knitted, knitted Christmas. Knitting. Knitting Christmas. It's got to be a knitting machine. <laughs> Let's have a look. Come on. It's a singer. Oh, it's a singer sewing singer. machine. Oh, oh, so close. So you were so close. Alan, Deborah and Frank, here's oh. your second album. It's Have a Blank Christmas. What is missing from the title? Well, I like that it's a question. Have a blank Christmas? Yeah, what's it mean? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, have so a blank Christmas? Have a pointy been? Christmas? <laughs> what is have that an thing? isosceles Christmas? <laughs> it looks to me like, like, Mr. like a Mr. Mr. Man yeah. who's like a, a Santa a... Claus Mr. Man who's yes. also living in a pyramid. So I reckon it's have, a have yourself a very happy Egyptian Mr. Man... Um, Santa Christmas. I'll give you a clue. That's not actually a Christmas tree. There are some things that we've blanked out around the outside of it. Right. Good. No, I, I've, I'm sorry. I've got absolutely. I have no idea what that is. Let's have a look. It's <laughs> Jewish Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how that works. I'd like to hear the songs on that one. Uh, and by the way, that album came uh, from Mel Gibson's personal collection. <laughs> Miff, Dame Edna, and Ross. Here is your final album cover. <gasps> there oh. are three words blanked out on this. The artist is called RuPaul. What are those three words? Mine are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been three wise ladies. Well, I'll tell you what, your clue is, say what you see. Little mm. bent sauce. <laughs> <laughs> three white boobies. No, four, aren't they? Six. No, six. six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your final answer? Three wise ladies. Three wise lady boys. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. She's so happy. Yeah. It was a Christmas yeah. album released by a drag singer, which is just like a normal Christmas album, but the jingle bells have been removed. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Depp and Frank still on four points. Miff, Dame Edna and Ross still on five points. Yay! Just before we go on, Move can I ball. just say that being situated underneath these, it feels like sitting under a very festive King Kong. <laughs> you know, darling, jokes of that kind occurred to all of us. <laughs> The fourth round of Christmas is called Sir Mix and Match a Lot, and for this, we're going to need some little helpers. Uh, Santa has kindly lent us a couple of his elves tonight, so would you please give a specky round of applause for singer, songwriter, and elf number one, Ella Hooper. Hello, Ella. Hi, 
has Santa been keeping you busy? Very busy. We've been rushed off our feet. <laughs> <laughs> was that good? Uh, yeah. What have you been doing for Santa? Well, you know, he's a, he's pretty picky. We've been preparing the uh, backstage area, getting his rider sorted out. Yeah, we have to import the snow from Colombia, get the, uh, the green and the red M&Ms out of the packets. and Since when Santa David Lee Roth? <laughs> we should uh, introduce your second assistant. Uh, it's comedian, radio announcer and...